Null is perhaps one of the most insane Marvel characters I've ever read to date. I mean, he's the literal god of darkness and nothingness, and he was born between the 6th and 7th cosmos. So what that means is he lived in a literal void full of nothing, just pure darkness, until the Celestials attacked, making that realm filled with light. Now, Noel didn't like this too much, so he managed to actually craft the first symbiote ever into a sword and cleaved his head clean off. He would later take the power from the Celestial's head and imbue it within the sword, refining it. And after doing so, he started honing his ability and his power by making more and more symbiotes absorb several different creatures, obtaining more and more power as it went along. Till it eventually, he started to absorb dragons. And once he was strong enough, he would later wage a war on light itself. He would fight for thousands of years until he arrived on Earth. However, this was all put to a halt due to Thor. Thor would end up taking out one of the symbiote dragons and this would dissolve Null's connection to the symbiotes, causing the symbiotes to form a consciousness of their own and actually betray Null. They would lock him away in his kingdom of darkness and separate him from any light possible, thus imprisoning Null for thousands of years in an endless sleep. And after this, the symbiotes would end up making a world of their own surrounding his kingdom. That was until a recent event called King in Black pretty much changed everything and freed him from this imprisonment. Now, to provide context on how he was freed at all, it actually starts from a story called Absolute Carnage. In this story, Cletus Cassidy was sent on a warpath to kill Eddie Brock and to absorb things called codices. Now, you might be asking, what are codices? Well, they're actually fragments of symbiotes left inside an individual who once wore a symbiote. They also hold the key to releasing Null from his eternal imprisonment if completely assembled. This is also why Carnage collects them to ultimately free Null and cause chaos all over the Marvel Universe. Now, long story short, Carnage ends up obtaining most of the codices alongside Venom, wielding the other half. And during their final fight, Venom would defeat Carnage by killing him to save his son. But in doing this, he would absorb all the codices, freeing Null. And upon waking up, he would immediately summon his entire army of symbiotes to wage war against Earth. Afterwards, we end up picking up in present day where Earth is being attacked by Null's forces. And Eddie Brock tries to connect himself to the Symbiote Legion by using his codices, but the effort proves fruitless, as Venomized Celestials rain down from the skies above, and Null making his presence by declaring he will kill the entire world. But first, he needs a human named Brock. The Avengers then seeing Null hold back from attacking, and Captain America calls in the biggest gun they have, the Sentry. But upon Sentry grabbing Null, it would be his last mistake, as Null would rip him in half, showing the heroes his raw strength. Null would then command his Symbiote army to encompass every single speck around them, taking over most of the heroes in an instant while proceeding to cover the entire world with the ooze. In a last-ditch effort to stop Null, Eddie would then connect his mind to Null, but doing so meant Null would know his very location, thus using his symbiote army to overpower Eddie. Bringing Eddie to the very top of the Empire State Building, Eddie would plead to just kill him since he was the one he came for, but Null would reveal that he didn't come for Eddie, but his son. He's the key to everything, before stripping him of his symbiote and throwing him off the skyscraper. Plummeting down to the streets below, Eddie would land on a truck barely alive, with Spider-Man finding him trying to call out for help, but the heroes that answered the call would all end up being infected by Null's influence. Luckily for Spider-Man, the Human Torch would save the both of them, giving them enough time to get to safety. Hours would pass and Eddie would end up in critical condition, so Iron Man would go out nearly dying collecting a symbiote, but in the process getting eaten by a symbiote dragon, while also infected by the symbiote itself. He would do all of this and so he could return with a symbiote and try to bond it with Eddie, however, it would only harm him more than anything else, causing his son to destroy the symbiote due to his connection to the symbiotes that I forgot to explain in the beginning of the video. With this, Mr. Fantastic seeing his power, he starts to think that Eddie's son, Dylan, could be the secret weapon to stop Null. So Mr. Fantastic devises a plan to bring Dylan out to disinfect the heroes they lost in battle to turn the tide in the fight. So the heroes go out in the symbiote wasteland with Dylan wiping symbiotes off of others left and right. However, Null seeing Dylan out in the open, he would try to kidnap him. But Thor would step in the way of this attempt, saving Dylan. The two would end up teaming up, shocking or disintegrating symbiotes off of anyone they came across, infected, making Null step out into battle to fight off the God of Thunder, with Thor literally cleaving off Null's jaw with Mjolnir. However, while Thor would be distracted listening to his teammates, Null would surprise attack Thor, stabbing him with a necro sword, while also commanding his Celestials to burn all of New York while he takes Dylan in the heat of the fight. Taking Dylan to his hive, Null would try to convince him to switch sides, deeming him his son in many ways. But in Null bringing Dylan to his hive, he inadvertently led the heroes to his hive as well, with Jean Grey in his mind, telling Dylan to connect
connect with Noel to open a mental connection. Dylan would then do so by grabbing Noel's hand, opening his own connection to the symbiotes, making him able to dissolve the symbiotes from vital heroes, allowing them to cleanse several parts of New York, weakening Noel, and opening him up to a mental attack from Jean Grey, where she would dive into the crevices of his mind to find any weaknesses exploring each and every one of his memories, until she would find that the key to stopping him would be the very opposite of darkness, light itself. And that light has finally arrived with the help of Silver Surfer, reaching through the symbiote-covered Earth, letting the light choose its vessel, turning out to be the power of Captain Universe, choosing Eddie Brock as the wielder. After this, the Earth's Mightiest Heroes finally cleansed would unite one last time to attack Null, but Venom, now imbued with the power of Captain Universe, would jump in the middle to fight Null one-on-one, taking Mjolnir and Silver Surfer's board, creating his very own Venom Axe to counteract the Necrosword. But upon Null witnessing Venom's transformation, he would run in fear, commanding his army to fight in his stead. But Venom would slice the heads off of every dragon and celestial he came across, till he would finally end up nabbing Null on top of the very same place he had Eddie in the beginning of the story, stripping Null of his symbiote and dropping him to the streets below, then grabbing him before falling to his death to fly him into the sun, where he would burn him to death for threatening his son's life, until finally turning to dust. Once Null would be destroyed, the world would go back to normal, the Venomax would revert back to Mjolnir and the Silver Surfer's board, and the heroes would celebrate, but Null's influence wasn't quite gone yet, as a little piece of him still lied inside Dylan, burning away in his mind. And with Null still inside Dylan, it meant that he could possibly return, so Eddie would use his powers to reach into his body and pull out the remaining darkness of Null still inside, removing it and finally destroying Null for good. And once Null's presence was finally gone, Eddie would hear thousands of voices calling to him. So Eddie would then fly into the sky to find that the Hive was chanting to Eddie for defeating the Void, declaring Eddie the new god of symbiotes, the king in black ending the story i really hope you guys like the video and let me know if you guys enjoy these videos where i summarize big comic book arcs and simple five minute videos i'd really like to know your guys's opinion but anyways don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all on the flip side then something just snapped something inside of me i didn't care anymore i didn't care